Hey, and welcome to episode two of Black Along the Border. So first of all, I want to say thank you all so much for all the love and positivity on episode one. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. So of course we had to bring episode two with some flavor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you haven't checked out episode one, please, well, don't stop what you're doing. After this video, make sure you head to episode one to check out the first episode of this series. I'll link it up here wherever the eye comes out. So as you guys can see, we are here in our kitchen because we are going to be cooking for you guys. I, I think I want to name it El, how is it? In El, In La Cocina Dos, Dos Wise. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. With the wises. Ah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Cocina. There you go. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm with today is this food series. So I wanted to bring something fun to this series because like I mentioned in episode one, I bragged about how bomb the food is. So I thought it would be kind of cool for us. What did you shake your head for? Oh. In the first episode, I mentioned how bomb the food is, so I thought it would be fun and cool for us to cook some of our favorite Mexican dishes. So we don't know a lot of them yet, but from what we've had, everything has been delicious. So as you guys can, yeah. So as you guys can see, in today we're going to be making oros con pollo y tres leche. So why are those two things, Chris? Well, because I told you guys how I am obsessed with tres leche, oh my gosh. When I first had it, it, oh my gosh, it was like heaven sent, okay? I know they have, you know, they have the common desserts, um, tres leches one, flan, is that how you say it, flan or flan? Flan. Um, I haven't had that yet. I don't think I've had flan yet, but it looks really good. Um, chocolate cake, there's another one, um, oros. Leche, I think. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me, y'all. But tres leche so far is my favorite, so we're going to make that dessert. And then with the arroz con pollo, I love it because my neighbor actually brought us some one time, and y'all, I was whew, obsessed. So that's what we're gonna cook. I think they have different versions of making it. And I want to say that the one he brought us was the Puerto Rican version. But all the recipes that I saw online look the same. So we're going to just follow along the recipes that I found and hopefully it'll taste the same. So right now the chicken is on the grill. The rice is cooking. So once those two things are done, they will bring it all together and get it cooking. But for right now, I'm going to start on this. <laughs> oh, it's a it's whole... ripped. Oh my God. <laughs> just left the cloud out. <laughs> My bad. Right now I'm gonna work on the tres leche to get the cake going and stuff. And then once he gets the chicken off the grill and every the rice is done, then we'll be able to get that together and be able to have our main dish. I'm excited. Alright, let's get it. I know everybody cooks their stuff differently, but most of the recipes look pretty much the same, so that should be good and and we should be good to go with all of that. So I have all the recipes here. So we have the sweet condensed milk. We have the evaporated milk. We have the baking powder. We have the baking soda. The cool whip. And no! wow, oh my god, I did waste a lot of yeah! Oh well. So let's um, pull up the recipe and get that on the top of it. I saved, I saved a lot of the recipes to Pinterest board because I did not want to lose them. Anyone watching, if there's any special recipes or restaurants that you guys would like for us to check out or try on this series, please don't hesitate to let us know because like I said, I the food is just so good. I didn't want to do a video on enchiladas because I have it all the time and I was like, you know what, I want to do something different. So we're gonna do something different today. I just hope I do it right. I hope we do it. I just hope we do it right. So that's what we're gonna try to do. The big guy has the chicken on the grill right now. He's about to take it off. All right, so heat the remaining tablespoon of olive oil in the pan and saute onions. I've already sauteed onions and stuff. So let me get the olive oil. Yeah, I mean, 
last time, and that's what it's looked like. We just mix everything yeah, together. Yeah, that's, that's how I thought it was. Alright. Just rub it on me here. So yeah, we're trying to follow the recipe, but I mean just I don't know, like I said, it seems like everything's just throw everything everything in there, so just get it all in there. The olive oil, olives, onions, tomatoes, yeah. lime juice. With lime juice. Yeah. Everything together. And if we're doing it wrong or you know, not in order, please forgive us. <laughs> we're just trying to hurry cook because we're starving like Marvin. <laughs> but everything is here that we, for the most part, everything that we need for the recipe. We are missing like two or three things, but it's just little things. All right, so I'm just gonna let this get warm real quick, and then we're going to add in the rice and paprika. Now I know it's called rice legends. Daddy. Three milks. Yeah. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> I caught on to it too the other day. I was like, Trace, three leche milk, three milks. <laughs> So she mentioned that a lot of people here use or you know that cook Mexican rice that's what they use for on their rice so hopefully it'll give us that extra flavor at 350 and I'm about to put the cake in for however long I'm supposed to. I can't remember. Oh yeah. Look at that y'all. Mm. 
Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> they got damn bougie. And it's chicken like that. He's so funny. So, so Lord, these I guess that they're about to receive from my mouth into the Christ of the Lord. Amen. All right. Hot. <laughs> it's like. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I like the cilantro. Yeah, it adds like that extra oh, to it. And then the paprika. Oh, fuck. Oh, hot. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me find out. It's really good for chicken. But I think the recipe said to add yeah, like pieces of shred, chicken. Shred the chicken. Yeah. I'm not doing all that. Right. <laughs> she did it for the kids, but for us. <laughs> oh, it's still good. Okay. We made our own arroz con pollo, <laughs> which is rice and chicken. And I would say we did a pretty good job. So. Watch the cake for the Trace Leche is done. And then I'll show you guys how I do that. And I think you have to let it sit for like an hour because it has to get cool or it has to get cold. I'll be asleep. <laughs> yeah, so we'll probably have to eat it tomorrow. But I still want to show you guys how I do it because all I have to do is just poke holes then put the milk in and then put the whipped cream and stuff and then let it sit. And then got me my Friday dinner. <laughs> my friday dessert so i'll go ahead and eat this with my family and i'll come holler you guys later ah. all right you guys so the cake is finally done it looks great and amazing now we're about to get the holes punched because it said that you're supposed to poke holes in it and then finally the edges <laughs> So you're supposed to poke holes in it and then you pour all three milks, <laughs> get it, three milks, trace leche. <laughs>
sit for uh, about four to five hours so it can soak up and it is late. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Black Along the Border in La Cocina, in La Cocina, El Dos. Oh Lord, I don't forgot the whole day. It's getting late, y'all. My brain is fried right now. And it's time for us to get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you guys know of any other Spanish dishes or desserts that you guys would like us to try, because like I said, um, I would like to try flan, flan next. I've never had it, but I'm gonna try it first before trying to make it. I think I've seen the ingredients in the store, but I need to see how it tastes first. But if there's anything else that you guys would like for us to try, or any restaurants that we should go to, or anything that you think that we should try in the next video, I think I just said already. <laughs> let me know down below, and I'll see you guys. Bye.